Welcome everybody. This is the same presentation I gave in German at the Logistics Day 2024. My name is Thomas Farnleitner. I work at SSI Schäfer as a product manager. My core area is visualization, statistics and analytics with Farmers Control Center. Today I would like to present to you the topic of warehouse management with our Farmers products in the digital age with a focus on smart optimization full network software solutions. Before we start with this topic, I would like to take the opportunity to introduce you to the SSI Schaefer portfolio in the field of interlogistics. As we have already heard, interlogistic systems can take on a wide variety of tasks. SSI Schäfer covers a wide range of industries, from pharmaceuticals to fashion, food, and so on, which also includes solutions for customers who produce their own products, in other words, the warehouse functions as a production site to support goods and then delivers these goods to the end customer or other distribution centers via order picking. On the other hand, there are also solutions in the form of distribution centers where goods of all kinds are stored in different temperature zones, picked and transported to the end customer or connected stores. Within this portfolio, we at SSI Schaefer offer solutions with different degrees of automation. It starts with a simple manual warehouse with shelving, with solutions for incoming goods, outgoing goods, and so on. It then moves to semi-automated solutions where ways or distances are bridged with example HEVs that people do not have to drive a forklift truck and finally ends with a fully automated solution which includes our warehouse technologies in form of storage and retrieval machines, small parts equipment and shuttle solutions as well as conveyor systems for pallets, totes and pins. These solutions also cover ranges from manual picking workstations to automated robot solutions like case and piece picking. Case picking means, for example, depalletizing from pallets or palletizing to pallets. Piece picking means picking from a source into a target tote, for example, to automate the picking process. We put together individual solutions for our customers from this portfolio and plan the system according to our customers' needs. As already briefly mentioned, this includes various processes from incoming goods to transportation and storage to shipping and outgoing goods. However, to manage these processes and bring the entire warehouse to life, we also offer software products in addition to our hardware portfolio with our VAMAS products. This includes the VAMAS WMS Warehouse Management System, which takes over tasks in the direction of the ERP interface, the entire processes such as inbound, outbound and storage tasks, for example, inventory. Transports are handled by our VAMAS MFS. Transport means to exec the execution of transports with sequencing, a very important topic, especially in the area of goods to person picking or robotics. This ensures that the goods arrive at the workstation in the correct order, as they must be palletized on a pallet or picked to a tote. MFS takes care of picking execution and all communication with devices. In addition to all the shelving and stationary components, a warehouse also contains a large number of devices such as conveyor systems, storage machines, shuttle systems and robotics. The MFS is the interface to these devices to transfer the data or orders to these devices. Our VAMAS robotics module focuses on case and piece picking with the usage of robotics. Case picking, as mentioned, is palletizing to or depalletizing from pallets. This picking is picking from source to target totes. 
And last but not least, our VAMAS Control Center, where monitoring, statistics and availability calculations are carried out. There you can see the progress and receive information within or about the warehouse. All these products are used in the warehouse depending on the customer's needs and perform certain tasks for the customer uses groups. To illustrate this more concretely, I would like to briefly discuss the user groups. User groups means different roles who are typically users of our software. It starts with the management who are responsible for the warehouse, the site or even several warehouses. Then there is the person in the control center who is responsible for certain tasks, as an example, incoming goods, or as warehouse manager for the picking and dispatch area and so on. Furthermore, there are all the people who are responsible for maintaining and servicing the equipment on site. And last but not least, the people who work on processes such as picking, inbound or loading. These are the typical users who work with our software. Today's presentation covers exactly that topic. By connecting our software, we offer the best possible solution so that these user groups can do their job efficiently. To illustrate this, I have brought along an example of an inbound process. What does incoming goods mean? It means that new goods are received in the warehouse. The goods can come from outside, from a supplier, but also from inside if it is a production site. It can also be a customer return that is sent back by the end customer or from another storage system. The goal of this process is to register these goods in the inbound process, to add them in the stock of the warehouse. This is where our WMS plays a crucial role, which is supported by the high-level ERP system. The data for expected incoming goods is handed over to the WMS. To do the inbound process physically, in addition to the data from the WMS, a person is needed at the inbound area who receives the goods and takes on certain tasks depending on the customer's requirements. This task can range from gate administration and two-stage inbound to master data monitoring or quality control of the goods, which includes supplier rating, and evaluates the supplier or the transport company that delivered the goods. All of these tasks are performed by our WMS. However, that goods arrive at their target storage destination in the next step, they must be transported to the target storage location, target storage area or shelf. This is where our MFS is the main addressee. The data is transmitted from the WMS to MFS as an order. This contains the loading units like the containers, pallets, trays or cartons, which have to be transported to the destination. As I have already mentioned, the VAMAS Robotics is also a part of the solution. VAMAS Robotics takes over depalletizing tasks when a pallet has been delivered and the goods are stored in totes in the small parts warehouse. Finally, for example, our flexi shuttle system takes care of storage and transportation to the storage location. This closes the circle, at least from the point of view of the inbound process. Our WMS and MFS and robotics interact with each other, but also towards the warehouse through interfaces with the devices. This is shown here on the right hand side in the slide. This ensures a continuous flow of goods. Of course, our manual devices are also integrated like forklifts, which interact with our automated warehouse technologies. 
Our goal, of course, is to achieve the shortest route in order to minimize transport waste and then find the best transport route within the system. Our VAMAS control center provides an overview in the visualization area so that a user from the named user groups also gets an idea of the current status of the warehouse, be it in the current shift or over the course of the day, what still needs to be done or where and how the status currently look in the warehouse. Here, for an example, there is a schematic a representation of the system in which the location of pallets, toads, is recognized or status from the warehouse can be retrieved. Furthermore, the control center is able to access information from our PLC and controls, but also from other software products such as WMS, MFS and robotics in order to present key figures. Key figures in the form of how many goods have been received today, how many orders have been fulfilled. On the other hand, also the topic of monitoring what still needs to be done today, how much still needs to be done to achieve the daily goals of fulfilling all orders. And you can take a look into the warehouse by integrated camera systems and webcams, for example, to look over the shoulders of robots or to take a look at the storage and retrieval machines to see what is happening there. In other words, monitoring and connectivity via the Vamas Control Center offers the user an insight or overview of the warehouse or the current order progress. Here is a brief overview. The Vamas Control Center has a technical view, dashboard, functionality and notifications. The topic of errors is also not ignored. Errors or problems can occur in the warehouse and so that the user can pass on information, especially in this case, to persons who are responsible for maintenance, servicing and troubleshooting. The Envamas Control Center provides information on which unit device is currently experiencing a fault in this case, information is obtained from the robot, for example, as to which order is being processed there, or which order is on the conveyor system, which loading unit is booked there. In addition, data can also be obtained from the other software systems. In order to obtain the maximum amount of information so that the fault can be rectified as quickly as possible. It is also possible to switch directly from the control center to the user interface of the WMS, MFS or robotics product. This means that the application does not have to be changed, but there is a direct connection via the interface to the MFS or WMS and the system change is possible at any time depending on the rights of the user. The connectivity of our products with each other and with the warehouse via interface in the direction of controls ensures the best value and best functionality for our customers. In order to increase this benefit, interaction takes place not only with SSC Schaefer products, but also with external interfaces. This means that ERP systems, transport management systems, or e-commerce systems can be connected. Data can be exchanged bidirectionally, for example, to enable tour planning. In principle, this is the interface to the outside world. So we have now talked a lot about customers and on-premise infrastructure with our products that are used on-site. We also deal with cloud solutions and the topic of AI or machine learning. Data is evaluated from a PLC, from a control system, for example, operating hours, counters, distances, travel or energy consumptions. The insights gained are used to developing products such as predictive maintenance. Predictive maintenance means that we can calculate the maintenance time of each element, conveyor, 
shuttle or storage and retrieval machine and then suggest to the customer when maintenance can be carried out most efficiently. Energy management, green logistics is also represented here. Statements are made about certain energy records. Right up to the digital twin, which is the basis for predictions in the event of changes to the order structure or changes to parameters in the warehouse. All of these things are enabled with AI technologies in our cloud solution. We also obtain information from the VAMAS WMS, VAMAS MFS and VAMAS Robotics and VAMAS Control Center and the subordinated control systems. So I have now come to the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention and have a great rest of the day.